time can be tracked with Employee from wherever your team works. For on-desk and remote teams, we have an intuitive desktop app for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Deskless employees can seamlessly track their time, clock in, and clock out from Employee mobile app. Employees can also track time from the web app and update timesheets manually. Additionally, time can also be tracked with our browser extension and third-party integrations. In the timesheet feature of Employee, you will be acknowledged about the timesheets that are being created by the employees. As on the timesheet, you will learn about the details of employees' time spent on Employee. Employee provides the users with five types of timesheet views. Daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and custom. From the daily timesheet, you would be able to see the details of the employee's personal daily timesheet on a project task and date-wise view. Here, employees can add manual time entry provided with an explanatory note. As an admin, you can allow or deny manual time entry options from settings. Let's move on to the weekly timesheet. Here, you can select the filters based on task, project, and member. By default, the weekly timesheet is set to show all employees' work week. If you wish to check individual employees' weekly timesheets, click here. A bi-weekly timesheet is set to show team members' timesheets in 14 days period. The monthly section of the timesheet will show the total timesheet for any specific month. This will give you an idea of the total hours worked in a given month. To check your employees' monthly timesheets, select a specific employee from the member option. The last one is the custom timesheet. In this section, you can see the employees' timesheets on a custom date range. One of the essential features many organizations will need is the ability to clock in and clock out in order to verify employee attendance. Your mobile and deskless teams are able to clock in and out using the built-in time clock feature of the employee mobile app. Desktop users will be automatically clocked in when the time tracker starts and automatically clocked out when the timer stops at the end of the day. Users won't have to do additional work. They will simply track the time from the desktop app and clock in and clock out times will be automatically calculated. Let's click on the clock in out section under the task. You will get an overview of employees attendance sorted by date. This has three fields. Clock in, clock out, and time worked. Note that the difference between the clock in and out is subjected to the breaks an employee takes during the day. So, for example, if someone clocks in at 8 a.m., clocks out at 6 p.m., and takes 30 minutes to break within this time, then the time worked would be 9 hours 30 minutes, not 10 hours. Absent employees are shown with an empty field with no timesheet. You can also go to the Report section by clicking here. Employee provides a lightweight project and budgeting solution. Hop onto the Project section to see your existing projects and a brief summary of the project progress. Click View Details to check the project progress report in a nice graphical interface. To create a new project, just click on the Create Project button at the top right corner of the page. After that, an admin would be able to put the details for a project, such as the name of the project, project start date, and a few other descriptive details. After finishing this, please click on the Save button to have this info saved and move on. You will now add members by clicking on Add People and Permissions. You can assign a team member or assign an entire team. Now, add billing hours. You will have two options for adding billing hours, project billing and project budget. Project billing is for billing your client. You can use this feature to bill your client in the future. You can bill your client on an hourly basis and fixed rate basis. If you choose to bill clients on an hourly rate, you will have two options, project hourly rate and person hourly rate. If you wish to charge your client on a single hourly rate for the entire project, choose the project hourly rate. If you wish to charge your client based on the individual bill rate of each employee who would be working on the project, you might want to choose person hourly rate. In case you would like to invoice your client a fixed fee for the entire project, you can also do that by choosing the fixed fee option. 
Set a project budget to keep track of the project's cost and profitability. You can set a project's budget by total project cost or total project hours. Please note that total project cost can be set either by employee pay rate, which is the actual hourly rate you pay your employees, or employee bill rate, the hourly rate that you would like to bill your client for that particular employee's work. In the task management section of Employee, you'll be able to see the tasks that your employees created under different projects encoded with the task progress status. Select the project and member in the Assignee tab to see the individual tasks, time worked under each task, and the creation date of the task. You can create a task by clicking the Add Task button and assigning a team member. Employees can also create their own tasks from here or on the desktop app. If you run an agency, Employee offers the feature to create invoices for your clients. To create an invoice, go to Invoice from the left sidebar and click on Create New Invoice. If you haven't created a client already, create one by clicking on the Add Client button. Give the name and email address and click on Save. Then, add the purchase order number and address. After the client is selected, a couple of actions can be taken. Change the issued date if necessary. You can change the invoice number too. You have the options to set the due date, currency, and purchase order number, but those are optional. Write the item name in the description. You may link your existing projects here. Select whether it's a product or service from the drop-down menu. Click on Add More Items to add multiple items to this invoice. You may add up to two taxes as a percentage or in the currency of your organization. Add discounts if necessary. Employee will automatically calculate all of these for you. If you want to edit it later, click on Save as Draft. Or directly send it to the client by clicking on Save and Send. You may also preview the invoice to see how it looks from the client's end. After you send the invoice, the status will be changed to Sent, and you will be able to record the payment status for the particular invoice. After entering the full payment, the status will be changed to Paid. If the client hasn't paid the full amount, then put the exact amount paid and it'll be marked as partially paid. And you can add more payments later. As a manager or admin, reports are essential to determine the health of your organization. As they are summarized and short, it's easy to read and interpret them without going into details. Under the Report section, click on the Time and Activity Report. Here, you will find the total time worked report by the members, with notes with a project, member, and date-wise view. From manual time reports, check the manual time entries of your team with explanatory notes. The reports can be exported as PDF or Excel format by clicking on the Export button in the top right. A summarized weekly email report is also sent to the admin periodically. If you have Remote Track add-on, you will see some extra features here. In the Time and Activity report here, you will see Average Activity and other metrics. Click Show Graph and it loads a nice graphical comparison of your team's average activity. From Apps and URL Usage tab, you can get a summarized view of your team's work habit statistics and patterns. There it is. You are good to go. Enjoy tracking time with Employee. If you have any queries, feel free to browse our knowledge base from employee.com help or contact us at support at employee.com.